Okay, McDonald's coming up on our right here. Oh, they have multiple drive throughs Look at that. That's handy. Talk to McDonald's where we're now featuring our 10-piece nugget extra value meal. We'll be right with you. 10-piece nugget extra value meal. But thought, it's breakfast. I thought this was breakfast. Number, I, number one I, is, I, is a egg McMuffin. Can I help you? Yes. That's what you want? Yeah, with the orange juice. I need a number one with an orange juice. And then I need a Carpeg McMuffin meal also with orange juice. Quinn, you said Carpe McMuffin. No, I didn't. Yeah, you did. I did not. See? Hmm. Okay. Sausage Egg McMuffin. No, you said Carpe McMuffin. No, I said sausage. So, look at okay. Sausage Egg McMuffin. All right. No, that's it. Alright, thanks. I know he said Carpe McMuffin. <laughs> Okay, just finished packing for the 29th annual Great Lakes Bow Fishing Tournament. And I uh, got everything loaded in the back of the truck here. I'm on my way to go get Quinn. I'm super excited this year. There's a lot of good positive uh, reports about how much fish are in over there in the Saginaw Bay. And uh, I'm excited, we're ready to go. Okay, I've got Quinn now. We've got all his gear loaded in the back and we're headed out. We're super pumped about this season. Looks like it's gonna be real good weather and uh, should be a great fishing trip. All right, we're just getting going on the highway here again. Just had to stop real quick because uh, we almost lost one of the barrels out of the back of the boat. Why do we have barrels in the back of the boat? Well, because we're heading to the 29th annual Great Lakes Boat Fishing Championship. Um, I haven't gotten to do a lot of bow fishing yet this year and I'm really looking forward to this trip. I've been on vacation now for three days, chaperoning sixth grade camp, been outdoors the whole time, getting to come off that to go spend some time outdoors in a different area of Michigan doing a different activity and uh, totally pumped this year. We're going to check spots out right now, it's Friday, late in the day, outside of our usual plan because we like to come over here in the morning but uh, I had other obligations. So here we are. Late in the afternoon on Friday, getting ready to drive around, boat around, and uh, otherwise find some fish any way we can. real tall from the middle to the, up to his back there. Yeah, I can't see him on the video. I'm trying. He's, he's facing us, this tanker right here. Oh There's another my one right there too. God. There's two more Look there. at that carp. He's That's a nice fish. The right of that. There we go. I got him. There's it. Oh, here comes a couple more up there too. That might be a 30 pounder, you think? No, I think He's over 20. Yeah, I think that one is 23 pounds. Some big fish here, Quinn. Oh. 
lengths. There's four more down there swimming that way. Okay, so my expert says that it's a 23 pound carp. I personally think he's got to go over 25 for sure. Finding some fish in this ditch, it's a lot of fun. Um, keep moving see what we can come up with you know somebody left some comments on our YouTube page about the size of fish that we shoot but the, the fish that we're used to shooting are not as big as the fish that are over here that's why it's so exciting for us to come over here because the average size fish is just bigger than what we have at home on the pine so uh, it's a lot of fun fired up we're seeing some tankers 27 pound carp that's what I'm gonna say it was <laughs> rich says it was 24 I say it was 27 Maybe we'll get lucky and find out tomorrow. Yeah, they're all through here, Quinn. They're just yep. peppered. Yep. I knew this was going to be a good drain. This is it. Oh, that, that is a 30 pound carp. <laughs> Rich just saw a 29.99 <laughs> pound carp. <laughs> we had to stop and take a look at this one. But now he's hiding in the weeds in the shade on the other side. So. All right, we're checking out our last drain here in this area and trying to see if we can locate some carp. What we've got down here next to me right now is some muddy water. And the only place that that mud can be coming from is carp. Because the drains that feed all this area are running clear and uh, we got carp in here. So we're looking at possibilities of places that we can boat right now rather than fish from shore. Um, couple more things to look at tonight. We're actually going to put the boat in the water tonight at our usual launch and see what it looks like there. So, looking good so far. Saturday morning, 7.07 a.m. We are rolling out to day one of the 29th Great Lakes Bow Fishing Championship. We came here with high hopes of finding lots and lots of carp because the weather has been so primo this year. And uh, we did find some fish. Not the kind of numbers we were hoping for, but our destination this morning has been decided based on what we saw yesterday. And uh, Hopefully we can go get some arrows and some carp first thing this morning. Now the neat thing that's going on right now is the weather. Um, 46 degrees last night, but it's going to hit 80 today with a low near 60 and then 80 again tomorrow. So during the tournament, I think we're going to see a lot of activity in the carp themselves pick up and hopefully a lot more of them come into the shallows. So we're optimistic. We think we're going to have a good time bow fishing. Um, we never really think that we're going to place or win anything at this event um, unless we get lucky and find a, a mess of fish somewhere. But our goal coming here is to have two of the best days bow fishing of our entire year. And um, that's what we're looking to accomplish today. We want to be sure that we have a safe event and everybody is watching out for everybody else here. Some of the things I seen last year was people driving across their scale and maybe people going out of the parking lot a little bit faster than they really needed to. Now, there's a lot of people. We probably have over 500 people on this site in a very confined area here today. And I want to be sure that we're in a position to where we're not running into anybody or nobody gets hurt today. So with that, uh, just take it. Be careful when you leave. Watch around your vehicles. Stay clear of the vehicles when you're leaving with the boats. And uh, be safe. And have a great day. And uh, best of luck out there on the water today. Yeah, thanks, you too. Thanks. Thanks. All right. We got called pretty early today. Not too shabby. Now hopefully we can get out of here, out of our parking spot. All right, let's go. I can go about this pace. Clear. All right. Woo! Getting an early start. We are getting an early start. A little bit of a We're out of jog this morning. <laughs> <laughs> 
shoot. Can you come in here? Thank you. These guys let us in. Give them a thumbs up. Cajun Archery. Who, who was it? Cajun Archery let us in. All right. Thanks, Cajun Archery team, for letting us in. Good job, Quinn. Thanks, Rich. Hopefully we can get this guy landed. Doesn't look here. like a whole lot of arrow in him. No, I know. That's why I did, that's why I pushed my button and just let him run. You want me to hit? Yes, if you can. Nice shot. Good job, Rich. Nice shot. He's not going anywhere now. All right. That's a good fish, buddy. Now you guys got to understand that Rich was actually aiming at that fish's eye this time too. <laughs> So he did miss, but not by much. <laughs> Force him up there. Oh, you're not coming out. Look at you. Okay. Good job, buddy. That's a nice fish, Quinn. Yes, it is. He missed. That's why we got the barrel. Let's put him in the barrel. <laughs> No, just barrel the barrel, buddy. I didn't see him. See, I'm deciding that I don't like these points. Yep. I we like seem, release, but seem to be having more trouble. I just saw it. I just saw that I was looking at metal and I said, oh, and off it came. He's right below you, right below you. He's in the weeds, right below you. Right below you, right below you. Bring him up. I got him. Yeah? Nope, he's, well, I don't know. I think maybe. That's a big one. Good haul. Good job, Rich. That was your fish, Quinn. It wasn't. It was our fish. <laughs> yep, you're yeah. right. Holy crap, Quinn. I don't know about these either. All right, well, it's pushing noon right now, and um, we've had a pretty good morning, especially compared to the other years that we've been here. We're getting ready to uh, park here, eat a couple sandwiches, and we're going to head out into the bay and take a look out there and see what's going on after we get out of this channel. So we're having a lot of fun. That's the most important thing. And um, I don't know, we'll see what happens. Left side. I don't know what it is. There's fish. Right in front of you. Okay. All right, well. Shoot. 
Shoot him. That was a gold carp. What? Wasn't that a gold carp? No. A Sitting down, it looked like a gold carp. Well, before we get too far into this, let's discuss what our options are. I don't like what I see out here at all. Okay. I say we go back in and we hit that ditch again and run it all the way down and back. Really? Okay. I was thinking about loading the boat up and going somewhere else. Okay. You know? Okay. We I don't see any sign of carp out here. We know there's carp at even though it's Let's get in even though it's not easy fishing, but we know there's some there. Without without going up into the slot. Right. Yeah, right before it got shallow, right? I'd kinda like to go to and go to the left. Yeah, we we'll see what we find. Yeah. If we have time, what time is it? Yeah. I mean, if we got a good hour, if we get loaded up, we got a good hour or two out there, we might get some more. We're not going to get any here. No. All right, it's 12:53 p.m. We. Uh, shot this channel like we planned and um, put some fish in the boat, ate our lunch, headed out to the bay, cruised around out there for a while, got a couple shots at some gar and uh, one goldfish, but um, it's pretty sparse out there for fish right now, so we decided to load the boat up and go to a different launch and hunt the afternoon there. Um, we said on this trip we were just going to keep moving from place to place to place and not get hung up on on hunting one spot and so that's what we're doing so time to move and uh we'll see what happens <clears throat> the last big one that we both shot yep. pulled off mine then you shot him yep. 16 one not bad. not bad at all uh we were here we got a dozen or so and that dried up so we came up to this canal because we've shot this other years and <laughs> looks all right oh. you got a pile up there that looks pretty good yeah at least they're flopping here. It's the first place we've seen them breaking the surface. Yeah. 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 We'll get it for you. There we go. Well, we were debating whether to drive up through here. We didn't want to disturb you, but we're going to go up further and shoot. Oh, yeah. Oh, really? Maybe you are. All right, good luck to you. Yeah, no problem. Good luck. I know it. <coughs> nope. Let me spin that back around. Keeps turning on me, Quinn. Got him. One of them. There were three. Gosh, it's hard to not make noise, isn't it? Underneath him. 
I'm in the other canal right now. Left side, left side, right there. Good job, Rich. Need help? Bunch. Got one. Need help. I'm, I'm trying. Please trying, don't pull buddy. out. Please don't pull out. Please don't pull out. Good. Good shot, Rich. Thank you. We're having to double arrow these fish because Sorry. these points are just pulling out of these fish like so easy today. We have no idea why. Don't know if it's a penetration issue or a or a point performance issue, but all right. Cheers. So can I just turn your? Yep. There was a whole bunch of them, and that was the biggest one. Awesome. So, good job, buddy. You, good job to you too. I'm glad you were able to get that second arrow in. Should be completely unnecessary. So, where are we going tomorrow? Ah, buddy. This is fun out here. Cause I could do this all day long. Let this, me tell you. This is fun out here. All right, I'm out of the cloudy stuff, bud. Yeah. Um, no, no, Rich. I see him. You get the other one. Need an arrow? Yeah. Um, I don't know. I'm all the way through. I do know that because I watched it go all the way through him. All right. Bring him in. I think he's gonna. Bring him in. I think he's gonna stay. Another Good ten job. pounder. Yeah. Thanks. Another one on the back. Straight up here. Nice. That was a nice fish. Big black one. Maybe he'll come back. Alright. Another double arrow on this guy. Might be our last fish of the day here. I'm gonna cut that. No sense messing with it. We've lost so many fish today, guys. I can't even tell you. Probably as many as we have in the barrels we've lost from them pulling out. Getting frustrated. But we're happy that we got into some good carp today, for sure. In two different spots. We're getting it figured out. Alright, got to. Hate to, go. but got to. We gotta go. I know we do. Ugh, it's killing me. I don't want to be disqualified when our day's done. I know, then we get nothing. I know, I know, I know. My feet are soaking wet. In order for us to load the boat real quick, I had to hop in the water, and I didn't have my waders on, but. We've only got 25 minutes to get to the uh, weigh-in, and it's about a 15-minute drive over there with no traffic, so. We cut that one awful close today, but uh, it's so hard to quit fishing when you get onto the fish, so. Yeah. Oh, hey. 
don't mean to say it like that. Oh, no, no, that's good. Okay. All right, so we got 139 and 120. 259. 259 is our total this year. Doing pretty good for our first day. Just sign initial right under me. Okay, and you get that. Can we help you lift that? Good. We hot and ready yet? Yeah. All right. What, all right? You bet. Right, you have a good day. You too, thanks. Yeah, dude, did you order your pizza? Yay, food. <laughs> you need a ride? Woo! That baby is hot. I'm ready <laughs> to eat, that is. Well, if we stick with our original plan, which was plan A from yesterday, it's a lot longer drive. Yeah. So on a day when we've got seven hours to hunt fish... It's going to soak up two of our hours driving and launching the boat. Right. But if we pre-launch over somewhere near here... Yeah, plan B. Then... <laughs> then we'll have an extra hour and a half to fish. Right. If we can find the fish. Right. But are there going to be more fish down at the other spot this morning? Mm. And then we search around out here for two hours and not come upon what we came on yesterday. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Where do we go? <laughs> Want to flip a coin? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> That's It's too delicate of a decision for a coin toss. That's how I pick tree stands in the morning sometimes. Oh man, Quinn. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really torn. I don't know what to do. Yeah. Okay. We've been talking for about seven minutes now trying to decide which location to go and we figure we can find fish at both locations. However, the drive time is significantly longer on our option A this morning. So we're going to vote for fishing longer and a pre-launch. So I think And clearer water, potentially. And, and quite a bit clearer water. That was my big vote. We can find fish at both places, but I think the water will be clearer if we go with plan B. And that's a huge factor because we've struggled over here in the past finding fish and having the water be too muddy to actually see them so yeah plan b okay let's give it a try all right What's the best route? Around here? Yep. <laughs> what were we called? Third, Third. morning? Yes. Rich, Rich had a theory that the 
but the coins go in the bottom of the can, so we got called early yesterday, we wouldn't today. <laughs> not, not this time. <laughs> Makes up for last year. Yeah, this up. Go right now. Good job, buddy. So, oh, yeah. being at the back is a huge advantage. Yep, you can hop in your truck. Even though we were called third, we're probably maybe 40th truck back now. So, because we decided to go for a jog this morning. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Well, as we were standing there waiting this morning, I counted up uh, approximately where we were at uh, number wise. There's 250 teams on the board, and we are 47th. So, not too bad for us today. All right, we're ahead of the game this morning. see where my arrow's at. Oh, I see my barb, Quinn. I see my barb. Other side. Good job. Nice job, buddy. Team 136, hard work. Nice job, buddy. Good job. Bunch of airless fish. Good shot. Oh, shoot. I hit your arrow. Uh, I don't know if you did. Yeah. Rich was, of course, aiming for my arrow. Oh, you weren't coming off. Look at you on the okay. side. Okay. All right. Well, I didn't see it. So. Yeah. Nice. It's pretty shallow over there, you know. Look at all those boats. they got to be carp there, right? I got no problem going over there, I guess. We'll just go, we'll just keep our distance. Boy, these fish are getting spooky. Just get a glimpse of them and poof. Get them. Snapshot. Got another little one. Oh. 
Oh, we got the same fish. Darn it. <laughs> Hoping we had two, yeah, there was but... three of them there. Yeah, but look at that fish. Okay. <laughs> there was three fish there and There's we got my... the we got the same one. Well, we bought we eyeballed the big one, I guess. Want to get my point? Yep. I'll leave mine up here to support it while you pull yours and then Oh, he's off, he's off, he's off. And I didn't pull, push my button. He's right here. I'm going to try to get him. Okay. Probably got one chance here. Did you get him? Yep. All right. Nice recovery, Quinn. <sighs> got him. Got two. All right. Got one. Oh! No. Oh, it came unglued. Just lost another ten pounder. Your slides in the water. Slides in the water. Yeah, it's on the string. I need. A, I need an arrow. They're all under you. Just pop me a white one. Thank you. However we can get it. Go around the back side of that green boat with a platform on it. Big one, Quinn, big one, big one, big one, big one. Yep. You got him. Oh yeah. Nice shooting, Quinn. You too, Rich. Same spot, too. Hey Rich. Yes, sir. I'm glad we went with plan B. Yes, me as well. <laughs> Got a good one. 
Nope. They're all good though, right? Quinn, we've got to go. Come on. How long is it going to take us from here? Well, it depends on how shallow we end up in over there. We've got to go. Let's go. Fire it up. Come on. Let's go. Hate to quit when it's like this. We got a big load today. We got to get it waved, so. the water we got the boat loaded and we're heading back to the away it's 235 right now so we should be able to make it even driving uh, at a moderate pace because we have a lot of fish um, I'm not gonna make guesses right now on how much we have but both of our barrels are almost completely full so <laughs> our best bow fishing day ever hands down never before have we shot this many fish so that's what we come here for that's why we come to the great lakes bow fishing championship we come here to find the kind of spawning activity that we found today and um, i don't even know what else to say about it you guys see the footage you see what we were into out there it was unbelievable and there was lots of boats out there and everybody kept their space and everybody shot a lot of fish so it's interesting hearing, to a couple, hearing a couple airboat guys there by the boat launch talk. One says he thinks he's got about 1,800. The other one thinks he's got about 2,500. And, uh, you know, those aren't the kind of numbers we're ever going to get with what we were doing. But we had a great time, and that's what it's all about. So let's go check our weight and see what happens. <laughs> Seven hundred and sixty-eight pounds. All right. Guys, yeah, doing good. I'm gonna initial this for you. Bench tape. All right. Come with you in a second, there, guys. Yep. That's yours. Thank you. Thank you. Have a great job, guys. All right. Two fifty-nine yesterday was a great day for us. 768 today was our best day bow fishing ever yes. and uh, gives us a total for this year's tournament of 1,027 pounds so uh, we broke we broke the thousand mark we had a lot of fun and uh, that's the most important thing you know get out here and have some fun bow fishing and we hit everything perfect this year the tournament hit it perfect this year I should say as far as weather and water temp and all that so you know, we met a lot of nice people here, and uh, there was a lot of good camaraderie going on. And I gotta say, I really, really enjoyed seeing that. People helping us with our boat to get it launched or to get it back on the trailer if we needed it. Um, we helped some guys retrieve an arrow yesterday. You know, we we're able to just talk to guys about the kinds of fish they're seeing, where they're seeing them, and you don't have that kind of competition that you have during deer season. And I really like that a lot, because that hunter camaraderie doesn't seem to exist, but apparently the bow fisher camaraderie does. So thanks, guys. Everybody that came up and said hi to us, thanks. We enjoyed meeting you. Everybody else, you know, all of you out there, thanks for watching our videos. We're glad you're enjoying them. And uh, I guess that's it. We'll see you again next time.